It's just very different. So when you started, you, you, you started the St. Martin's School in London in the late 70s, I think. Um, um, I studied at St. Martin's, yeah. Uh, and then I went to, after that I went to um, about, I took about eight years working on my own and then I went back for one year to Chelsea School of Art. So what did actually make you go back to, uh, to art school after having worked for a long time? Um, in stage design, I think, in, in Canada. No, I think I, I, I think I felt I needed that, it needed that sort of um, momentum again that you get from being in, in a, a student situation and um, needed that, um, not just momentum, but the, um, the time that, where time, you know, basically time stands still and you're just, you know, you're stuck in that, that, that type of, um, I don't know, it, just, it was just, the, it, for me the time was right, it felt, to do that again. Because we, I, I went to London recently and then saw this extremely interesting show about your early work, um, work you were influenced by, by St. Martin's School, all these um, Superman looks at Gotham City paintings, which I found quite interesting. Um, I mean, you seem to have worked in a group then more than later, you know what I mean? It's, you sort um, of broke away, I think, of groups and sort of found a very unique way I think in that, Chelsea. Or after I Chelsea. think that the early 80s, which was when I was at St. Martin's, was a very exciting time um, to be a painter. And I think the early 90s was very different, or late 80s or early, early 90s was very different. I mean, okay. um, early 80s, it just seemed to be a lot of um, freedom, a lot of openness, it wasn't just to do the fact being young, I think that there was a lot of the art that was being made was um, in painting was, um, and in music was very, was very open to outside influences, outside of art. And I think I really benefited from that. I was ready, I was right for that, at that you know, ready for that at that time. And then I went back to, to study again um, in the late 80s. I think that um, the art world had become possibly more cynical, and um, painting had become extremely boring, I think. I think, you know, there's a lot of um, process-based painting going on, a lot of sort of, a lot of actually what you're starting to see now again, sort of, you know, people come up with a, an idea and they kind of make many, many versions of that idea. And, um, and um, again, that was a good time for me to study because I wanted to react against that as well. I wanted to try and do something um, that sort of, was opposed to that, and that's where I started making these, you know, these kind of Canadian sort of influenced sort of homemade paintings. It was it was a kind of deliberate sort of action to sort of make something that was um, not just against the trend, but against the sort of the the kind of yeah the attitude as well. But you had, not bad. But the result was immediate success in a, in a way. I mean, apparently you. Well, I think it gave me, um, which I think is what all artists need, it gave me something to kind of run with, really. Mm. And I really, um, I went from feeling like I didn't have very many ideas to suddenly to feel like I had a lot of ideas. It was almost like you sort of, I sort of, um, I got this sort of inspiration that I uh, could never possibly have imagined. And I think that, I'm, you know, I think the type of artist I am, you never really know what you're going to make next and whether you will, you know, it's not as if there's a, a, a plan, really. Um, so I think that when you get these kind of bursts of um, inspiration, and um, that it's, it's kind of like what, what fuels you, really. And what keeps you going. It's, it's what just, keeps it's, you going. And, I just, and I, I just don't think I could have ever imagined that um, this would have happened, you know, a year before. It just sort of suddenly just happened, and it started snowball. It snowballed, and then I just said, I found one, you know, one thing after the other which sort of I'd want to paint. Other times in your life you find it's much slower really and it's sort of like, you know, you can reflect on what you've done, but at is this it, point in time... Mm, is, it, is it still like that? Or is it... Mm, uh, I mean, I think I'm, I'm, at the moment I'm a bit slower. <laughs> 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 I'm always hoping, I'm always hopeful. <laughs> what does success mean to you? It's a terrible question again, but an interesting one. Uh, I mean, because you are very successful. Supposedly, supposedly, say. yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that when I'm in my studio. I mean, that's 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 the um, that's the only way you, I can I can 
I think um, what's you know it's 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 you've always you're always confronted by. Um